Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Cities Skylines. Uh, we're still waiting on a cool little name. There's been a few suggestions, but I'm going to hang on another episode or two before we actually name our city. And we, of course, need to start naming districts as well. In the last episode, what we did is, uh, well, we expanded our city a little bit. And you can see what I've done is I've tried to add a, a few bits and pieces over here to help the, our expansion in this episode. We've also upgraded this road to something that now kind of works um, with the traffic uh, that we have. Now, let's quickly have a look at the traffic. And this is something that we'll be doing on a regular basis. This is exactly the kind of thing that I'm expecting. We're going to have a very busy um, road over here. And at some point, what we'll do is we'll try and bypass it. We'll upgrade the intersections, all these kind of things like you would do in a new um, in, an, in, a, in a real city and as a real city grows. So let's uh, move out of here. There is one issue, though. Um, I'm starting to see a heap of traffic actually um, clogging up over here. And I think this is due to um, what I've done is, in, remember in the last episode, I've actually not allowed them, I've allowed them to kind of stop this way so that they don't end up blocking um, the traffic a lot. So if I do that, let's just double check that now. Now they'll kind of go, but then what, I, what happens is this starts happening. So I honestly think that this is about the spot where, while I know this is fairly rural, I think what we should be doing is actually starting to look at a little bit of an, uh, a signal. Um, that is not uh, going to be an appropriate way of dealing with this. So what we'll do is we will um, actually signalize this. So in, in the first instance, let's add a, um, do, 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 what is this manual traffic light? No, we want this guy. So if we add that, let's select, uh, set up the time traffic light. There we go. Um, now, what we'll need to do is we add a step. So the, I'll, I'll quickly uh, run through my thinking on this. So this is a, a little bit of a mess at the moment. So what we need to do is we need to allow for both the through and the left turn. Over here, we only need the through. Um, over there, it's only kind of the left, but th those uh, kind of roundels, as I think what we call them over here in Australia, um, is all that's needed instead of the arrows, the roundel versus the arrow. Um, so now let's uh, let's add uh, our first step. So our first step, I think, uh, and you know what? Hmm, I think we need to split phase. So let's talk a little bit about signal phasing. Um, so signal phasing um, is there's, there's a there's you can either run the phases in parallel, so the through movement with the through movement, and then you stop the uh, left turner, or the left turner still kind of filters through it. Um, like when there's a gap in traffic, they make the turn. Let's, let's just pause the game while while we while we talk about this because it's a, a mess over here. Um, <clears throat> now, or the alternative method of phasing is what's called split phasing, where each approach gets its own green. Um, I think because we've got such a short little um, turning lane or turning pocket, again as it's referred to here in Australia, you um, you might quickly find that that cues into the into the the other lane and then blocks it all together if we run the through movement and the left turn movement separately. So what we'd rather do is let's maybe run it as split. And in that case, we don't need that. We can just do a roundel. So if we're running it split, it's this one for, and let's say a minimum of five seconds um, up to a maximum of 10 seconds. And this thing is completely adaptable. So after minimum time as a lap switch to the next step, if more waiting than driving, um, someone is driving. Someone is waiting. No one is driving. No one is waiting. That's quite interesting. And then there's some flow sensitivities around this. So let's just say more waiting than driving, the default one for now. We'll experiment with some of these things, I think, a little bit later. So we'll add that step. Then the next step is, uh, let's add a step where we um, actually switch that one off and we switch this one on. Um, in which case here we will say, well, let's just start out with the same um, timings. And then what we'll do is we'll add a further step uh, in which we switch this one on or this one to green and this one to red. Um, and then we'll keep going from there. So there we go. That's uh, let's let's start that out. So let's start that one up and uh, let's see what what happens. So we still have um, a few issues here at the moment. Let's just uh, what's going on here. OK. Now, what? Ooh, I think, I think there's some issues here. There are some issues here. Huh. 
That is quite interesting because of what the way. Okay, let's uh, let's quickly have a look at this. Yeah, it's just constantly going red, green. This is constantly going basically. So what we need to do, um, I believe it's because our node um, is a little problematic. It's um, there's not enough room between these other nodes. So actually, let's do go to move it. We'll pull this guy back at that. I think now. Are we starting to see that uh, signalization popping up there? And if we pull this, uh, uh, there we go. That one's got its signal uh, popped in. This one has its signal in there. It's interesting. We, uh, there we go. There's our signal head. So we just needed to move that out a little bit, clean them up uh, just a tad. And I think that will now result in, yeah, there we go. It's got the green light going over here. Now it's stopping. Now these guys are getting their turn. And they should be stopping. Now, these guys are getting their turn, but there's no reason for them to... Ooh, that was a little awkward. Now, what I would like to do is this guy should actually run a fair bit longer to be able to clear out some of these queues. So what I'll do is I'll go back into this intersection. Um, this one should actually... What I'll do is I'll make these two much shorter because they seem to have... Why are you... It's quite interesting that some of them just continue to go through. I think what we'll need to do, though, is I will do a few small little adjustments over here. First thing, I'm going to go in here and we're going to stop um, allowing this um, filling up of the intersection. I think that is partly causing us, these guys deciding to, ah, nah, I'm not going to stop. I'm just going to make a clean run for it altogether. Uh, I think that's kind of what's happening. Now, what we don't, what we also need to do is probably get a few stop lines in here. Yeah, that's something that we need to do. And I'll quickly update the, the timings as well. So if we go in here, let's uh, let's just show, ooh, no, 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 not show the counters. Let's uh, stop it quickly. And I want to edit these. So that one, let's just make that like three seconds up to about um, maybe seven, seven, uh, no, 10 seconds is fine. The maximum time, let's leave the maximum time as is. Um, but let's just make the minimum time quite a little bit less. So if we then go to this one over here, ooh, I wouldn't mind having that maximum time go up to 15 and the minimum stay the min let's uh, Let's actually up the minimum to about seven seconds. Uh, I think that's fine. Let's do that. And then this uh, last one over here, let's uh, reduce that again down to three seconds, up to 10 seconds. Now, in the real life, there are some minimums that you can't um, can't go beyond, even though signals have kind of sensors and things like that to determine where the traffic is. But in the real world, you would have some minimums. Typically, it's around the six or seven second mark for a for a phase. Now, I'm quickly going to pop into the no, not this. I'm going to go into the intersection marking tool, and what I'd like to do is just provide us with um, stop lines. So if I'm uh, it's do a create a crosswalk, no. So it's just this one. So what is that and this one I'd like to, yes, let's uh, remove that and we'll put the stop line in there. That's awesome. This one over here, we're going to do the stop line. That one already has the stop line. So now we've got stop lines um, going crazy everywhere for us to make use of. Okay, so that's good. Now let's, uh, let's have a look at it now. Okay, this is a bit of a problem. Yeah, we can't do that. We can't have these guys stop. Um, do we have, hang on, hang on, let's quickly have a look. Do we do we still have the this arrangement? No, we do not. That's at least not been there. But what we'll definitely need to do is we'll need to go back and squeeze these back in because uh, without them, that's just not going to be feasible. So now that one's getting their phase. Now these guys are getting their phase. And I'm hoping, why do you not stop? It's a little, a little weird that you're not stopping, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not stopping at all over here. Uh, let's tweak uh, with the Move It mod again. I'm thinking there might be some issues with it. So let's just pull that back. Uh, I'm going to pull this back a little bit more. And uh, if we pull this one back a little bit more. So now we've basically sized up this intersection tremendously. These guys are now stopped. So whenever you... That is, why? Hang on. That one's moving, going. Now these guys are getting a turn.
Now these, oh, hang on, I, I'll have to have a look at the intersection itself, but this is, is kind of working as an intersection. Uh, let's just go back and have another quick look at what's going on with our time traffic. Oh, it's off. Oh, come on. Start it, please. There we go. That's why there was some issues there. Uh, this guy was kind of in the intersection already. That's working. I like that. That's uh, that's giving a bit of time there. That's giving a fair bit of time. Those guys are stopping. Excellent. These guys are getting their time. And now, ooh, that one shouldn't have made that turn, I think. But anyway, I think it's much cleaner now. We're getting the movements the way they should be working. Nice. Everybody is, in fact, stopping. And we've actually cleared that queue completely now. Now this is actually working. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Now, we went from a super red situation over here. Let's uh, clear clear out this so we don't have to look at that and do that. Let's quickly have a look at what's happened with our traffic flow now. Um, I think for the time being, we're still reflecting some of the issues that we've had, and this will slowly go green. So we'll come back and have another look at that. But I think this is working for the time being. Look at that. And we may have to tweak our, um, our signals again because this guy is getting pretty busy on this side. So what we'll do, I'm actually going to just tweak them now before we uh, make the move away onto something else. Let's quickly go back and tweak it a little bit. So we've managed to sort out everything. Let's stop it. Let's pause the game. Let's quickly edit these guys. Um, I'll go with a minimum of five again. I think the three second minimum is just a little bit not enough. But if we go with a minimum of five, and now what we'll do is I think we're, I'm comfortable to go with the minimum of five over here again. Um, but we can run this one up to 15 if the queue gets a little bit long. But and start, let's make a start for that. And let's run it out there. Awesome. Think we'll come back in, a, in, in just a while and have a look at whether we've managed to um, reduce some of these reds. Um, but I think all in all, it's looking really good now. Uh, we need a ton more people over here. We've like only got 1,400 people. We have zero industrial demand, which is something that I find quite intriguing. But what we'll do is we will continue to roll out um, these uh, suburbs that we've got over here. So let's uh, switch that off. We'll grab a few extra roads and uh, we'll see about tying in a few suburb type things. So let's go slightly larger roads now, but slightly more fun. Uh, not fun. We'll, we'll just put some uh, some of these uh, these uh, nicer uh, nicer roads in there. So what I'd like to do is maintain a little bit of distance. Yeah, I think that's going to be just fine. So we'll go up to say about there actually, and then what I'll do is we will um, tie it in something like this. Yeah, I think that's that's quite an interesting maneuver. That looks pretty good. What we can, of course, do is tie them in on this side. For the time being, we will um, not tie them in all one. one. We won't be a total grid. So what I'm saying is we're not going to do a lot of T-junction, I mean, uh, four-way intersections that continues to run through the entire one. What we can certainly do is add an extra intersection now, maybe over here. Um, uh, maybe a straight line like that is not bad. This one, what we'll do is we'll run that one straight through to the other side also. So now we've got an extra intersection over there. We'll have to see how we deal with that intersection. We might need some additional uh, signalized intersections over here. What I'll do is I'm actually going to, well, we'll start it off um, straight yet again. Oh, there was a comment, guys. There was a comment about which um, theme I'm using. And this is the Cedar Valley 4K theme. For, th for those who are interested, um, I'm using the Cedar Valley 4K theme. Now, what I think we should do is actually go back to a slightly smaller one over here. And if you don't want me to show how I do the road layout in this much detail, um, please do reach out and let me know that. At the moment, um, I'm quite uh, comfortable to, um, to continue to just do all of this, um, like, like we're doing it over here, and show you the entire process. But if that is becoming a little bit too tedious, do, uh, do let me know. Do, do let me know. So let's do um, just a little bit of this, I think. And that's kind of just, just for me to, to do the uh, the little cul-de-sac in here. 
I think that's that's fine. What I've done is I've actually linked up these cul-de-sacs with little pathways and we'll do the same thing over here. Now, what we need to do here is at the node controller piece, we'll just need to remove these guys. And then that is pretty much it for us. Um, we don't need to do any more than that. I see the, um, the building spawn points is now in here. I do wonder if it's still in the building as well or not. But anyway, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's not discuss that in length at length over here. Now, now that we've got this area in place, what we can do is we can certainly start um, filling out some more of this. Uh, zoning is the is what I'm talking about. Let's add some zoning to the mix over here. And similarly, uh, ooh, are we gonna? Let's do that. Let's uh, let's run it all the way up there, through this one, through there, and all the way in there. I'll need to check if I've actually got. Um, we'll make sure to zone in here. It will get re uh, at some point. It'll get busy, but because we are using the real um, real population stuff it's uh it's not that busy and it doesn't get that busy that quickly either um so we need to do tons of this stuff uh of this zoning if we uh if we intend to really get get busy so we'll do that i'll, I'll um i'll add way more of this in here we'll try and do a little bit from that side we'll tie that in there and that's that's kind of what we're we're going to try and roll out a fair bit more zoning so at the moment we're just after a ton of uh, residential basically let's uh, squeeze one in there uh, actually if we don't then we can actually have a little pathway so let's trim that back we can have a pathway straight through here ultimately uh, let's get some zoning going on over here these guys are just going to go ahead and live here at the moment I'm, I'm still quite intrigued by the fact that I have not yet seen um, shall we leave that one open uh, what we'll do is let's uh, let's do a smaller little section over there uh, we can do a little housing piece over there. I haven't seen any demand for industrial, which is a which is quite of a concern to me at the moment. Kind of wondering why I've not seen it. Now, um, let's quickly get the water filled up in here. So I make sure we tie all of these guys into some water supply, and we'll probably need to run one through there, tie it in. Over here, run it up that way. There we go. So now everybody's got some water. They've got power. They're growing. We need a little bit more commercial. Um, and I do really wonder why we're not seeing um, why we're why we're not seeing the industrial demand. What I thought maybe I should start doing is start thinking about getting our industrial complex going. So if we go over here and we're going to say and in uh, paint an industry area, okay, and we will. Uh, I'm not going to do the ore over here, and I'm certainly not going to do the oil over here. We might find one of these other spots for oil. This area is going to be our super super duper super large area for um, for uh, for forestry. That's the plan. That is the plan. So I'm going to do all of this. We're going to make a massive forestry area here. That's the plan, and I can probably have that. Um, a little bit bigger can i oh yeah i can i'm using the the medium one uh i just want to make sure so let's uh let's go up to the big one and just make sure that we actually zone this entire section if you've got a name this is, this is prospect land is apparently what it's being called um but if you've got uh, i actually like the term prospect uh, okay so if we do all of that that's the this area over here up to about there Actually, that probably we probably need to run into nature reserve at some point. I think that's quite cool. Um, so let's do up to about there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to trim that back. I like the term prospect. Actually, we're going to trim that back. It's not going to go all the way up to the to the to the uh, to the uh, to the lake, and it's going to have some jagged edges like this. So that what we can do is we can basically say the rest of that is. And we'll trim that back on this side as well. So what I'll do is I'll uh, just jagged edge it a little bit over here, over there. So that's the kind of the land that was now made available um, for the forestry industry over here. Oops, that's not the button that I'm after. So we'll do that so it doesn't get too close to town. It needs to be uh, some distance from the rail. Uh, well, it could, could go straight into the rail, but anyway, and there we go. So that's called prospect land at this point in time. Um, I'm, I'm not opposed. Uh, anyway, this is an industry area where has no specialization. 
build an industry area, main building to either farming, forestry, or, or to get that specialization. So what I thought we do is we'll get our... Um, so what we'll do is we'll we'll get our our our, our building, uh, and let's go with the uh, the industrialized kind of building, small industry road. And I'm tempted that we run it somewhere in the middle. Actually, maybe this side of 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 the operation is a is a good spot for it. And to be honest, yeah, let's uh, let's just do that. Let's do a T junction over here. And this side will kind of be the administrative side of things, and that side will then lead into the forestry elements. And we'll we'll see how we. That's going to be like, like the main road. And what we might do is we might go to um, some gravel roads if we can find appropriate gravel style roads. Here we go. That's the gravel roads. And what we'll do is we'll go with some gravel roads off of that um, to see how that works. Now, gravel roads is typically not super straight. So what we'll do is we'll. We'll see about getting some gravel roads that does this. Um, and I'm kind of thinking that they won't be as neat typically. So let's uh, let's find a little a little spot over there. So we'll have a little bit of a... You just need to be a little mindful. If it's not very straight, um, we will end up with, uh, with not being able to pack this area nice and appropriately. But yeah, that's kind of the look and feel that I'm going for. We'll continue to run this out this way. Um, and from here, ooh, actually, I'm tempted to make it a little, uh, little, little turn up there. We run it out this way then. Yeah, something like that. I do like that. What we'll do is we'll also tie off over here. Run that in a little bit straighter up there. Yeah, something something like that feels feels quite useful to me. So I'll, I'll start the industrial area right over here. So we, in our forestry industrial area, we need a forestry main building. And my idea with that building was that we um, just have it off of the main road, maybe four blocks away, so that there is room for an upgrade of that road at some point. We'll get our forestry main building over here. And then what we're going to do is, um, oh, it's of course not got anything that it needs. That's okay, and then we'll start um, collecting some stuff um, over on this side of the spectrum. So let's just get our water and stuff over here. I'm hoping we'll see a bit of a demand for it, or that it is gonna it's gonna start um, generating a bit of a industrial demand just in general. Let's uh, let's let's run some water up here. Now we're probably gonna need way more water. There's definitely a power. Um, I'm a little. Surprised that we're struggling with the power. But anyway, that's that's not the end of the world. We'll have power straight away off of the main line there. Now, with that in mind, I'm hoping that everything is sorted out. Now we need to get some extractors going on. So we'll do some of these guys, large three sapling fields. Um, let's just do so. Everything is already unlocked. So I'm, I'm just going to start by seeing about getting some of these guys in there. Oh, actually, that's a, that's a pretty good... Um, pretty good little move. So let's um, let's do some of this. Let's um, do a little bit of that. We'll start running them up here. There we go. Let's make a start like so. I think that's okay. Can we we can change the tree um, type? Uh, what type of tree is this? I have no idea. Let's uh, let's quickly go to our actually this this one. What type of tree is that? That is a redwood. I don't think we're going to have redwoods. Um, I don't think so, at least. Conifers, beech trees, alders. Uh, is beech trees a different color? Uh, not the right. Is conifers a slight? Ooh, that's even worse. Um, let's just do the beech trees, I think. I think the beech trees are what we're after. We'll, do, we'll just do the beech trees. I think that's going to be okay. Uh, we need to give them a little bit of water, and hopefully they're not going to use all of our water. Anyway, let's just get the water out here, and hopefully that does start generating a little bit of a... Is that uh, going to provide the water that is necessary over here? It is. It is going to provide it. There we go. We've got vehicles being generated um, over here. Look at that. Uh, though that's planks, and it should probably be wood. Now, what I'm after also is, in this location here, what we need to do is provide a little bit of a warehouse. Forestry maintenance building. 
what else do we have? A small log yard is probably about this size that we're going to go. But maybe we should start off with a large log yard. And what we'll do is we'll do the log yard uh, over here. And that's going to be it for the time being. We then go into a sawmill. Hmm. Let's uh, let's let's leave it leave it as is for now. Okay, so that's in place. Now these guys are making a start over here. We need to continue to expand our our little area over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm quickly going to go into a little bit of a time lapse right over here, and um, I'll uh, I'll quickly fill up a little bit more of this stuff, and then we'll go and have a look at what our intersection is doing. guys and i'm back um at the moment you can see that uh, our demand is running out for uh, for residential so i've zoned a little bit more um and we'll have to just wait it out basically see about getting that residential demand up i think it's due to our um our education um so we do need to at some point get ourselves going uh, a university of some sort elementary and high school education is available uh, if we actually go into the uh, education view, we can see that there's a number of these houses that's not actually gaining access to it. So actually, that's what we need to do. Let's start it off by actually implementing one of our, and I'm saying actually a hell of a lot. Um, let's bring in a bus, of, uh, a bus of uh, our very first bus, uh, bus route. So we'll start off our bus route at our super duper um, complex over here. And what we'll do is we will, hmm, doesn't want to run that way. So what we'll do is we'll run it off into this general direction. So we'll make our very first stop somewhere over here. Our second stop somewhere over there. Um, this is the this is the main road. So that's fine. A second stop next to the main road is absolutely perfect. We'll uh, then start a run over this way. We'll stop over here. We'll make a stop uh, at the school sites. Um, we'll run that back up through here, get another stop in there, and we'll probably do this in both directions, to be honest. So let's get a stop right on the other side of the main road over there. And we might have to come and do a main road um, loop at some point in the uh, not too distant future. We'll do another little stop over here. We'll stop it off um, outside of the train station and then close it off over there. So let's um, let's pause the game while we quickly do a few things. Switch uh, ongoing demand, switch view, incoming demand, outgoing demand, incoming, outgoing. Anyway, that's fine. Um, there's another um, tool that I think we have access to over here, which we'll get to a little bit later. Let's quickly set this guy up. So this line is, um, uh, let's just call it loop, uh, well... Let's just call it line one for now. Um, loan one, loop one, uh, bus. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be bus loop, or it's it's actually it's gonna be just bus line one. I think that was exactly what its name was. Let's make it a nice color, um, so it's quite um, bright for us to see at least this first one. Now it's coming from the depot. Let's select a vehicle that we're gonna use over here, and then we'll add some vehicles to the mix. Um, okay, so in terms of the vehicles that we're gonna use, uh, what is this saying? That's a school bus. We're not going to use a school bus. We're not going to use a school bus. We have a left-hand drive Aero Ace coach. So I've uh, these ride um, ride uh, assets is awesome. I'm going to use some of them. But I think what we're doing is we're going to use the ride um, rapid transport bus with the 60 passenger capacity. I think that's the one that we're going to go with. Um, if we go there, that's a Bendy bus two with 100 capacity. That's 150. Then these are some other assets as well. I think this standard one over here. The ride rapid transport bus five is the one that we're going to use. And what we're going to say is we'll let's add like uh, four buses to the line. I think that's going to be just about the right. Now, the interesting thing is, and there's a mod somewhere over here that's going to allow me to, um, if I actually select that line, isn't it? If I don't do that, let's, uh, let's go in here. 
there's, a, there's, there's some sort of mod. Hang on, hang on. I'm going to go back to public transport services. So if we go bus lines, line one. Aha, here it is. That's the one. Oh, that's walking tours. Huh. So there's a view. We should be able to see. Okay, anyway, maybe we'll come back to that, see how that works a little bit later. But for the time being, we'll have our first buses um, coming out of here. There they are. That's the one. That's the ride bus over there. Look at that. Look at that. Let's just get it up here. Nice, close and personal. There we go. Uh, bus maneuver. BRT rapid transport ride. This is our R2 rapid transport. I think that's just standard. But yeah, there we go, guys. That is our, our, new, our new bus route. Our new bus route should help things out a fair bit. Let's uh, um, let's get people to um, education quickly, and then we'll we quickly see what's going on down here. Now, what you can see, uh, let's quickly finish off by just making sure we fix this guy. Why is this guy get a, getting a constant demand going here? So what we'll need to do is, I believe we'll probably need to sort this guy out a little bit, and maybe what we are seeing is that we should be running these in parallel because the left turners are pretty low actually so this one is being being uh, being a bit of problematic let's quickly have a look at what our traffic is saying apparently it's pretty bad apparently it is pretty bad so let's uh, let's quickly um pop in there um so i'm just going to base that on the queues so the queues are a little extreme over here so i wouldn't mind and we can have a quick look i'm using the right intercity buses as well uh, let's quickly pop in there and just make a small little tweak to we'll stop it and we'll edit this guy. Um, so what I'm interested in is let's make it that a seven second and we'll give this up to about 15 because it does seem to be a big one. Uh, we'll start that up again. Uh, so let's see about clearing these guys out. And there's so few guys actually turning left here that um, it may not be... Yeah, it's just kind of maxing out all the time, I think. Average flow is still good. Now it's going to start stopping these guys. Uh, but I think we'll clear it out. But I honestly think, ooh, that is a bit of a longer queue. Is that is that about right? It's For some reason, it's not actually picking up the flow. And I think it's got to do with the fact that we've got these, uh, these nodes so close together. So it's not actually picking up that flow. Oh, it's uh, no, it stopped it out. It's interesting, this flow is being picked up way better than that flow over there. Let's do one more look at it. See if we can't make a bit of a change here. It's getting its minimum now, and then it's gapping out on flow straight away. It's gapping out on flow, um, which is which is a little bit problematic. But this one is this one is uh, working really nicely. But yeah, absolutely, this is a busy intersection. It is a busy intersection. I wouldn't mind getting us to sort. Well, I wouldn't mind fixing this one um, a little bit more by um, playing around with this times a little bit. But honestly, um, it's looking pretty good uh, just in general. That's looking good. This is looking good. I think you know what? Let's stop it out. Let's uh, let's quickly edit this guy out and say, guys, what you're gonna do is you're gonna run um, that that one only as a starting point yeah i think that's going to be fine you're just going to run this guy what we'll do is we'll make this back to almost to small numbers to uh, absolutely maximum of 10 we'll save that one out there um state two is this one which is okay we're going to save that one state three is this one uh so we're editing that one so this is going to run these two at the same time while it's going to hold the left turner um, and what I'll do is I'll up the numbers over here a little bit and we'll what we'll do is we'll start it off at 7 to 15. We'll run it that way and what we'll do is we'll make a start. So now the left turners is going to do a run. Let's quickly see how this works. These guys are running. They should gap out fairly quickly. Then these are running now. Hopefully we're maintaining a bit of a flow here. Yeah, this is the thing. It immediately becomes a bit of a problem over there. We need uh, we need more uh, more space for these uh, for these turners. Now the through movement is going. Hopefully the through movement is continuing a little bit of flow. No, it's not. Yeah, it's not it's not the right call, guys. It's not the right call. That looks that this one works really well. 
we need to run this as a split phase. We can't uh, we can't run them together because they do f that that just fills up way too quickly. It's exactly what I what I expected. So we're never gonna we're never gonna solve it that way. So we'll have to go back to the other way. Let's quickly stop that and then we'll end the episode over here. Let's uh, let's go back to this operation. Let's just do that. This one goes in there. What we'll need to do is seven to fifteen is I think what we're gonna gonna work on over here. We hope it maintains it. Uh, actually, we can tweak around a little bit. Let's go back to this one uh, where we're definitely not gonna run those together anymore. I'm gonna drop this down uh, back to five and ten. Um, if I go back to this guy, what is it saying? After the minimum time is elapsed, switch to the next step if. Someone is driving. Someone is waiting. No one is driving. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. Flow is zero. So we're going to max this guy out. I'm going to go with that one right over there. And flow sensitivity is moderate. Let's... Um, uh, yeah, let's, 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 do the, let's do that. Let's, uh, let's tweak it a little bit. Uh, we start it up again, and we'll see what we what we get over there. So this guy should really be be going up to its maximum constantly now. Yes, yes, good. Ran its maximum. This guy, uh, the 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 ability to make changes to how this is adaptive is awesome. Is absolutely awesome. I think we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna beat this guy now. Now that this guy is gonna start running the maximum constantly, um, we're gonna beat it. I think we're going to beat it. It's still got a number of seconds to run. Yeah, I think we're going to slowly see this queue um, reduce, and then we're going to beat it. At the moment, it's very long, guys. So at the moment, it's very long. This guy is ooh, pretty long, too. Wow, that is quite interesting. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here. This is the fun part for me. So I quite enjoy fixing traffic. And if I spend an hour on an intersection, that's uh, that's not even strange for me to do that. So this one works really well. These two struggle a little bit. But anyway, we'll, uh, we'll continue to monitor that. Uh, back to our little town over here where we're starting to see a little bit more residential demand coming in. Hopefully we're seeing the bus, um, the bus route um, making its uh, a difference in terms of getting people to uh, to do that um, uh, to to get to education. Hopefully, we're getting them there quicker. There's a lot of people educate be, get, being educated here now. I think that's the total demand. Actually, um, these areas are starting to see some workers. So even though we don't have a demand for industrial. Uh, we do have people working in the industrial complex. So, guys, that's going to be the end of this episode. Slowly, our little town is growing. Um, we need to constantly be looking at what's going on with the traffic over here, constantly looking at what's going on with the traffic over here. Certainly, we uh, would like to clear these out. You see that queue is, is reducing. Um, this queue is getting a little longer, so we might have to um, touch up those times timings just one more time. But I'm loving it. It's, it immediately gives you something to do in terms of the traffic as your town grows up to 2,300 people. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please hit that like button. If you've got a name suggestion for the town, for the city, I mean, for the city, for the, um, and, and then maybe for the little district areas that we're going to have to do, this is going to be obviously our little uh, inner city district, I think, as a starting point at least. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so if you've got some name suggestions, please do drop them in the comments down below. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.